Hello everybody, it's Anna, the Swedish Orchid Hoarder here. I'm here with my Cattleyas. This one I bought recently. It has many growths. One damaged growth, you see it there in the middle. I think I've damaged it anyway. But it's a healthy plant. Many nice leaves, growth, and already some roots coming, which is great. And this one is simply called orange. It comes from uh, the German uh, nursery, uh, Kage Orchidin. No cheese yet, but it has flowered previously. And over here, from the same nursery, but a bit uh, a year older. This one has been in the sun, and that's why it's quite light colored and uh, a nice root system. Very nice. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's a sheath yet. No. But it might come. And over here we have another. Uh, sorry, the, the previous one was uh, a Cattleya mix. This one is Galaxy Bell, I believe. Yeah, with Luck Luk Tong. And the new growth is nice and big, bifoliate. And I believe this has a sheath. So this one will flower for me once again. And over here we have a newer Kalea, the Paparata da Vinci, I believe. Yeah. And it has two lovely new growth and a lovely leaf. No sheath yet, but it's doing well. And this one were, yeah, the Paparata Da Vinci. And over here at my Van Da Vin window. We have a new no ID, which has a large amount of freckles uh, because of the sun. And there is a slight chance for a sheath down there. And if that is so, that is my first ever blooming on this one. Um, some of the roots root tips dies off I assume it's because it's too dry um, and over here oh, we have a back division of the galaxy bell doing a thing not doing much now and we have a comfort prince LC comfort prince and there already some roots coming and well it's not supposed to be flower size and this one is a back division of my paparata and I believe there's some roots perhaps on that one as well but I can't see them right now and then another comfort prints also giving me some roots one thing that i find frustrating with uh, cattleyas uh, is uh, when you buy them and you uh, take them out of the old media and you rinse them off the old roots and you check so that the rest of the roots are okay and then you pot them and then you perhaps wait a week or two and I did so with the 
for example these small three small ones and I unpotted them again and the roots that were healthy I thought when I repotted them they're all dead and wet so I get a bit frustrated sometimes I'm thinking okay I buy a cattleya and I cut off every root and then I repot them and then I make them uh, uh, throw out new roots what's the point in keeping any roots uh, when you just bought them uh, if uh, the ones that look healthy die anyway but uh, that's just me being a bit frustrated with my cattleyas um, uh, over to my Psychopsis Papilio. Look at that. A second spike. So now these two spikes eventually will uh, compete with uh, each other for the most beautiful flower. That's pretty cool. And um, well, and that's my minis doing their thing. One is taking off or dying off two leaves there, but they're doing all right. There and the little mini mark he is uh, happy and thriving with new root tips. So hopefully he will flower again, but with uh, more than three flowers this time. So I wish you a happy day and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye, hey dog.